słuchaj opowiadań po angielsku. Ucz się angielskiego słuchając. Native Speaker czyta. Część 48. Po raz pierwszy usłyszysz każde zdanie dwa razy. Bez napisów wymaga to skupienia się na znaczeniu, a nie na czytaniu tłumaczenia. Następnie usłyszysz je po raz trzeci z tłumaczeniem, więc możesz sprawdzić, jak dobrze je zrozumiałeś, zrozumiałaś. Mrs. Novak's telephone number was 3463. Mrs. Novak's telephone number was 3463. Mrs. Novak's telephone number was 3463. Numer telefonu pani Nowak to 3463. And the number of the cinema in her town was 3464. And the number of the cinema in her town was 3464. And the number of the cinema in her town was 3464. A numer kina w jej miejscowości był 3464. So people often made a mistake and telephoned her when they wanted the cinema. So people often made a mistake and telephoned her when they wanted the cinema. So people often made a mistake and telephoned her when they wanted the cinema. Więc ludzie często popełniali błąd i dzwonili do niej, kiedy chcieli pójść do kina. One evening, the telephone bell rang and Mrs. Novak answered it. One evening, the telephone bell rang and Mrs. Novak answered it. One evening, the telephone bell rang and Mrs. Novak answered it. Pewnego wieczoru zadzwonił telefon i odebrała pani Nowak. A tired man said, At what time does your last film begin? A tired man said, At what time does your last film begin? A tired man said, at what time does your last film begin? Zmęczony mężczyzna zapytał, o której zaczyna się ostatni film? I am sorry, said Mrs. Novak, but you have the wrong number. This is not the cinema. I am sorry, said Mrs. Novak, but you have the wrong number. This is not the cinema. I am sorry, said Mrs. Novak, but you have the wrong number. This is not the cinema. Przepraszam, powiedziała pani Nowak, ale pomylił pan numer. To nie jest kino. Oh, it began 20 minutes ago, said the man. Oh, it began 20 minutes ago, said the man. Oh. It began 20 minutes ago, said the man. Oh, film zaczął się 20 minut temu, powiedział mężczyzna. I am sorry about that. Goodbye, said Mrs. Novak. Hmm. I am sorry about that. Goodbye, said Mrs. Novak. Hmm. I am sorry about that. Goodbye, said Mrs. Novak. Hmm. Przepraszam, do widzenia, powiedziała pani Novak. Mrs. Novak was very surprised, so she told her husband. Mrs. Novak was very surprised, so she told her husband. Mrs. Novak was very surprised, so she told her husband. Pani Nowak była bardzo zdziwiona, więc powiedziała o tym mężowi. He laughed and said, 
the man's wife wanted to go to the cinema. He laughed and said, the man's wife wanted to go to the cinema. He laughed and said, the man's wife wanted to go to the cinema. On zaśmiał się i powiedział, żona tego mężczyzny chciała pójść do kina. But he said he was feeling tired, so he telephoned the cinema. But he said he was feeling tired, so he telephoned the cinema. But he said he was feeling tired, so he telephoned the cinema. Ale czuł się zmęczony, więc zadzwonił do kina. His wife heard him, but she didn't hear you. His wife heard him, but she didn't hear you. His wife heard him, but she didn't hear you. Jego żona słyszała go, ale ciebie nie słyszała. Now they will stay at home this evening and the husband will be happy. Now they will stay at home this evening and the husband will be happy. Now they will stay at home this evening and the husband will be happy. Teraz zostaną w domu tego wieczoru, a mąż będzie szczęśliwy. Don't try to fool your wives. They'll catch you every time. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and share our videos so we can keep making more for you. See you later, alligators. Y'all be good.